What's good everybody is your favorite DJ, me, T-Girls, and you are not watching All Take Day. I've tried like weddings, I've tried corporate events, but it just, they just don't suit my personality. I feel like um, when I DJ in the club, you're mm -hmm. setting a vibe, everybody's ready to like turn up, yeah. everybody's ready to have fun, everybody's ready to enjoy themselves. Yeah. And I feel like me DJing in the club, it allows my personality to shine through. Um, and I feel also it's a bit of a cheat code. Um, like as a creative, no one cares how you're feeling. No one, no one gives a sh how you're feeling. So whether you're feeling down, whether you're upset, whatever's going on in your life, no one gives a sh. But like, if you are constantly in that environment where like you need to set pace, you need to get the energy levels up. It even helps like me in my personal life because like I have to bring that energy. Like I am that energy. Yeah. And you know, um, I don't know if you've seen me out. But I'm always the one bouncing up and down, <laughs> jumping up oh, and down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, like, I just take that energy and put it into the music. From I, I started DJing in London, yeah. so we I always did a money pull up. Yeah. If you're coming to the booth with a note mm. and your suggestion makes sense, yeah. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Money yeah. pull up. Like, I have a policy money pull-ups only mm. like as long as you're not like my employer so either like a promoter or yeah. like the booking agent or you're not the owner of the club i really don't care what you're saying yeah. because a lot of people like are selfish and they bring their selfish tendencies to me and that's your personal problem not mine if like i'm reading the crowd and the crowd want hit someone's asked me to play celine dion in the club wow <laughs> 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 and you think I'm going to stop mm. and place the lean Dion for you. Mm. No, do you understand? So yeah. I feel like a lot of people, they want that instant gratification. And people don't understand that as a DJ, you need to like build. Like, I'm sure you've been in a club where they're pay playing like just gra gra music yeah. for like hours. And it's mm. like, oh, come on now. Like, yeah. How much besse, how much legwork can we do? Yeah. Do you understand? So people don't understand that like you need to like peaks and falls. Mm -hmm. You need to create that as a DJ. So if we're playing Afro beats and you want hip hop, we're not saying we're never gonna play hip hop. It's just not the time. So people honestly need to be patient, um, but people want that instant gratification and it's irritating. I don't mind if like, you come to me, number one, money pull-ups only. Respect the DJ guys, thank you. Um, and if your suggestion makes sense. Yeah. So for example, people have come up to me because um, when I first came to Nigeria, I wasn't really versed in like old school Afro beats. I wasn't great at it. Um, and people would come up to me with suggestions like, oh, you should play this, do you understand? Yeah. And it's like, you know what? I did think about that, that makes sense. So I feel like as a good DJ as well, you should be open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. But when you're coming to the booth being stupid, uh, yeah. I'll ignore you. Mm -hmm. And like before, I used to be like, I'll check if I have it. I'll let you know. <laughs> but now I'm just straight like, no. Um, Let's see if you'll drag me off the deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see if you'll drag me or you will. But um, yeah, sorry to the guys that I've said so, uh, no to. Not really sorry, but... So there are loads of different types of DJs, just like there are loads of different types of doctors, there are loads of different types of DJ. Mm -hmm. um, and when I first started DJing, I wanted to be an all-rounder. Yeah. So I can scratch, like people yeah. always like, uh, how do you, like I can scratch, I know mm -hmm. how to tra transition, yeah. like I can beat juggle, like I can actually, like I have a skill set, exactly. do you understand? Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people, because like you said, technology has made it so easy, they just yeah. jump into it and boom, you're a DJ. Yeah. Um, but I feel like if it's actually what you want to do and you're willing to like, you have the passion, like music is your passion, mm -hmm. and you're willing to take time and learn your craft and hope, like I'm still learning, I learn yeah. daily. Um, then go for it but like you say there are a lot of DJs out there now that are literally doing it just to be fly but like people ask me all the time like doesn't it irritate you and it really doesn't everybody's free to do what you want to do and at the end of the day like 
you will always know who is doing it for the love the passion because they actually want to do it mm -hmm. because they have the skill set and people that are just doing it because it is the cool profession of the time yeah, i honestly feel like a lot of nigerian djs are complacent mm. um i feel like um especially in lagos um it's actually a very tight-knit community not no i wouldn't say tight-knit community it's a difficult community to get into right and i feel because um people are like okay because this is the situation with like the djing like environment so to speak um people aren't worried about competition mm -hmm. do you understand so when they get to a certain level they like relax they're like all right no one can move me from where i'm at things like that um and they get complacent and with complacency like you stop trying to learn new skills you stop experimenting you stop doing things like that um so i feel that is the issue with nigerian djs and i feel like um that's also one of the reasons i left um like being a resident dj it's very easy to get comfortable knowing your crowd. Mm. You know this this is gonna set them yeah. off. You know they're gonna react like this. You know they're gonna do this. But what I found different places, honestly, the crowd is different. Yeah. Do you understand? Like I DJ out of Lagos a lot. And even like, for example, you know like sing-along songs like majesty mm -hmm. right in lagos there's certain places you drop it and it goes off but if you drop it in those places outside lagos yeah. everybody's like mm. yeah. do you understand mm -hmm. so like it's just about complacency and i feel like anybody starting like getting into dj they don't get complacent just keep learning keep doing what you're doing keep developing keep experimenting but i feel in lagos that's what I can see. Um, I've DJed in in Nigeria, PH, Abuja, um, Benin, um, Ibadan, uh, Jos, um, Enugu, Oweri, just like those places. Um, and then outside of Nigeria, I've done Amsterdam, I've done Dubai. I've done a couple of states in America, I've done Canada and obviously London. I feel like just generally people see me and they honestly think it's just packaging. Mm. They honestly think it's just packaging but I like that. Mm. Before when I first yeah. started DJ, it used to piss me off like why do they think I'm a good... Now it's like mm -hmm. you think I'm not going to do anything, I'm really going to show you, yeah, yeah. I'm really going to show you, I'm going to blow your mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, and. I love it when I travel out and like I can get the crowd to react and I can get the crowd going and do you understand it's mm -hmm. like it's, it's a different feeling it's a different feeling because like I said like in your hometown it's like it's easy it's easy if I go to London I know what to play to get people moving when I'm in Lagos I know what to play to get people mm -hmm. moving but to go to a place that is not your city is not even your tribe yeah. i'm yoruba and yoruba. people yeah oh. and people are like moving to what you're playing mm -hmm. and you're giving it to them back to back i'm still like i'm still very much a girly girl mm -hmm. which okay. is obvious um but they're just certain things i like and the things that i like i do oh my god do you know why a lot of women in this Lagos are mad? Because you lot are wearing wigs. <laughs> the amount of heat that is trapped between your scalp mm. and the wig, I'm not, I'm not in that. The fact that I can pour water on my head every morning, yeah. love it, that energy. 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 Yeah, um, I was reading through the comments, right? And someone commented, she has no hair, but she still has a parting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And do you know what the craziest thing is? Like until someone actually like pointed it out, I never thought about like I'm literally asking them to etch a line in my skin. Like I never thought about it. The Alternative Network.